Hmm. Okay, I am not very active on YouTube lately. Sometimes I'm active and sometimes I'm just really inactive. Like I'm in sort of that sort of moment now. Uh, the coronavirus, everyone. Oh my goodness. Well, I have never experienced a sort of pandemic situation like this. And I'm sure not a lot of you have that as a common thing that you experience. But it's starting to get a little crazy in Norway. I can see panic in people's eyes. Yesterday, I started getting scared. But my doctor told me that there's nothing to be scared about if you're not in the sort of risk sort of group. Apparently, I have nothing to be afraid of, uh, but um, what is the deal with the toilet paper? I mean, to get things straight, this is a virus that is affecting your lungs. Now, we are kind of lucky that this is not a virus that is affecting you like the Black Plague, let's say, with like puking and diarrhea and all sorts of like, you know, it's probably worse. Uh, it was probably worse for some people. But what is the deal with the toilet paper? That is what I'm asking myself. So yeah, I, I also uh, bought one pack of toilet paper. I don't think anyone should be super afraid, but it is a uh, health situation that is happening and it can definitely be more scary for older people. And if you have grandparents or older parents, that is also a, a concern, I can see that. But I wanted to come in here today to tell you what I have been playing lately. As you know, I am addicted to video games, and that is a condition in itself. Actually, you know what, I often think about video games when I'm not playing, and when I'm about to sleep, I think about video games, and if I'm not able to play, I research video games online, and go on forums with the games that I'm currently playing. So, you know, I, <laughs> I'm a video game addict. So, I am going into my Switch now to see what I have been playing lately. Because not every game that I play ends up being talked about on my channel. A little while back I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I haven't touched on Rogue yet, but that is the Rebel Collection. I have written a review, but you know, I take my time with uh, actually getting to the point where I am filming them, let alone editing them. But anyways, that is going to happen mm, probably in a month's time, if you know me. Mm -hmm. It is my first Assassin's Creed game. It is an open world, like piratey game. I definitely enjoy that. I will be talking more about that game later. I have Animal Crossing New Horizons pre-installed and pre-ordered digitally because I wanted to have Animal Crossing digitally so that I always have it with me no matter what I have as a physical cartridge in my Switch so that way you know I always have access to Animal Crossing. Because that is a sort of, in my experience, in my previous experience with Animal Crossing, that is a forever game that goes on forever. And it's a nice game that you can hop into on a regular basis just to check the daily stuff. Because there's daily things that you can do in Animal Crossing. Like, for example, in New Leaf, there was a set amount of new fossils that you could dig up every day. And also, what I just really enjoy with Animal Crossing is the seasonal things, you know, checking in on Halloween, what is happening, Christmas, and all of those sort of like festivals and events that goes along with in real life a calendar. So if it is summer here, it's summer in the game, it's winter here, mm -hmm. it's winter in the game. And there are different species of everything, of fish and butterflies and insects, you know, all of that stuff, depending on the season. So this game, if you want to fill out the museum, it is a long game. Okay, so you know, you have plenty to do there. Uh, I just bought Wind Escape, but that was actually late yesterday that I bought it, so I haven't gotten around to play it because I bought that game along with City Skylines uh, for the Switch. And I started playing that yesterday, and the snow world seems buggy, and I found so much evidence online on the Reddit actually. 
that a lot of people have uh, bad experiences with the Switch version and the winter levels anyways. It is sort of, you know, clunky and weird the, because I've played this on PC. So crossing over from PC to console, kind of weird with the controls. That was kind of weird, but I am getting into it and uh, I love simulator games. And I have been recently playing Two Point Hospital on the Switch. That is my most played recent game, everyone. Two Point Hospital is also a game that I played on PC when it was released, and that is some years ago, so it was really fun to, you know, jump back into an older game. Same goes with the City Skylines, that was also a game that I played on PC. So, you know, the console versions of uh, those games, they are different, but I gotta say, that Two Point Hospital transitioned the best out of the two. So Two Point Hospital is uh, very much approved. I have had a blast in that game already and not done with it. I've gotten to the winter level there as well, you know. I love it. Tiny has loves it too. She says that is the new Skyrim. All right, what else have I been playing? I'm gonna sort by most recently played. All right, I have been touching in on Astral Chain now and then. I want to review that game. That is um, further back in my backlog at the moment, anyways. Because I have gotten addicted to Warface on the Switch. No joke, I have gotten addicted to it. And I can see why I, I would be a person that would get addicted to that, because I was addicted to Destiny 2 some years ago. And you know, I played that so much with Katrina, and she is still playing that game. And I'm like, well, we are done with that game. Come and play Warface with me, but she, she doesn't want to play anything else. My favorite class in Warface is the said class and that is a, a sort of robot that has a minigun and I get so many kills with that class, it is insane. So I'm like always on the top of the scoreboard when I am playing said class, so that is so much fun. I haven't gotten too much into the other classes but anyways Warface is a free to play game, I haven't spent any money in that game. None. And I have gotten addicted to it because it's so good with the gyro controls. And I've always said that, the gyro controls. But I am surprised. Okay, listen up. I'm surprised by the amount of people that tell me I'm not getting into the gyro controls. I don't understand the gyro... Everyone around me is saying that they don't understand gyro controls. I don't understand what you don't understand about the gyro controls. Because here's the thing, I do stick aiming. I stick aim, but I fine tune my already stick aimed aim with the gyro controls. And if you think the sensitivity is too much, you should just put it down, you know. That is what I do. Uh, in Warface, I love gyro controls because that is the best way of aiming for me. I think that is a better way of aiming than mouse and keyboard for me. But one thing I never understood is that the PlayStation 4 controller actually has the technology inside of the controller, the PS4 controller, to do gyro controls, motion controls if you would rather call it that. But they never seem, the developers I mean, never seem to use that and utilize that to the fullest. That is something I never understood because I know the technology is there. But Nintendo people, they seem to be really good at having that as a feature in most first person shooter games. So that is what I had to say about that. So that was uh, basically my most recently played games and what I am up to. I want everyone to stay safe in the coronavirus epidemic stuff going on and the internet is blowing up and someone told me that it is uh, kinda exciting but I can understand what that person mean and that is it is interesting to learn more about something new that you have not previously learned much about like how a pandemic works and all of that but it is of course a very serious matter and it isn't exciting it is just like yeah, i can see how it is sort of interesting i am very um into reading about it and i'm very up to date because i seek the information i find it interesting uh, and serious of course 
So what have you guys been playing lately? I don't often do a unscripted video like this. So you know, right now you are getting uh, the real me, I guess. I'm having a good day, by the way. Now, please hit like on my video and subscribe if you are new. I don't often do these videos, so don't expect them too much if you do subscribe. Follow my Twitter and Instagram. I actually love Instagram. Instagram is really good. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.